Hey everybody, I'm back with another Transformers toy review, and I'm doing one that I only ha I've only had for a little bit of time now, uh, and obviously, if you know the toy, it's right in front of you. It's Transformers uh, War for Cybertron Warpath. Has to be my second favorite so far that I own overall. I have personal favorites for personal reasons, but if I'm going to if I'm going to put them on a rating scale, this would probably be the second best quality wise. And it's his vehicle mode is pretty cool. It's obviously a Cy Cybertronian tank. You know, I don't think we have any tanks on Earth that look like this, but it is Transformers. His head, or his head, his the part with the cannon does a complete 360 turn like a real tank. It's got these extra artillery. I don't know what happened to the missile. I have a tendency of losing missiles. Like, really bad. And it sucks because... It sucks because it takes away the overqual overall quality of the transformer. It's got little wheels on the bottom. So it rolls along pretty well. Actually, it rolls along pretty well. And it's got the numbers. I don't know anything about tanks or military vehicles, so I don't know what ZOW333 or K490W stand for. It does have the Autobot logo though, if you can see that on the video. I got a really bad glare, but it's the only place I can film really. Color scheme is a dark, a dark brownish type, kind of like a, I don't know, a clay red. If you've ever if you're from California like I'm from and you've digged into the earth and you find this brown clay kind of stuff, this is that's kind of what it looks like. I don't know if that will come out in the video because it looks like it's a little darker or it's a little lighter than it should be. So overall, really good vehicle mode. Second best vehicle mode, Gears has to be the first. So let's get into how to transform this, this guy. So I start this way. I the little um, whatever this is called. Oh, uh, the cannon goes in. Push it in. That brings up his head. It's actually kind of funny. This reminds me of uh, Tankor from Beast Machines. Just imagine going Tankor smash. And then you bring up that, and then you bring up this, and you have his entire tar tarp, entire top done and this all snaps off and it comes out like that and basically what you do next is you bring in that and it snaps snaps into place perfectly let me see if I can snaps into place perfectly and now that I'm transforming it I'm going to switch my camera around so bear with me. There, that's better. That's a little better. There, now you can see the whole thing. And then you do the, I do the feet next. These come in, they like turn in. That makes the kneecap. Basically what you do is you bring this, you bring it out like that it'll go out there we go it comes out it doesn't go all the way it'll go it makes like a slight turn you pop that down pop that in and it becomes its feet do the same with this side now it stands tall straight I love when transformers actually stand I hate transformers that don't stand that bothers me so much okay. and there's this little piece that just pops right open bring it down and then there's these two little pegs inside the hands that you push. Bring out the fist. Put that back in. And there you go. That is Warpath. That's him in his... Here's him in his robot mode. Now, probably the best robot mode I, of all the Transformers I have. I have a huge collection, but... It spans from G1 to now to this is the last Transformer I bought from War for Cybertron. So you see how long it's been since I bought a Transformer. 
or at least a new transformer anyway. This is the last new transformer I bought. I need to buy more. Anyways, that is his vehicle mode. One cool thing, or his robot mode. One cool thing about his robot mode, still got the wheels on there. So if you're lazy, if you're la lazy ass like I am, he just slides perfectly. <laughs> It'd be kind of cool if you, if you could have like that skating thing that Transformers in the movies do, which I thought was a cool idea. Once again, he'd have the missile that shoots out. He's built pretty tough, pretty steady. Hard to knock him. Can't really knock him over because of the wheels. His articulation is really fantastic. I love when they go all out for the articulation. You know, he moves as realistically as I think you could have him. The only thing that's moved is being able to move the arms back and forth, and the head moves, but there's no real reason to move the head. If his torso moved left to right, I would say he has perfect articulation, but his torso doesn't. I think that's why they compensated with the legs, so you can kind of just move him around, you know. And that, that's Warpath for you. Basically one of the best Transformers I own. Next time I'm going to be doing a Transformer I actually dislike that I own. And I hate the way it transforms, I hate everything about it. and. It's probably going to be a rant video. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.